Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's well. Um, decided to start another video so I can kind of give everybody an update on what I've been doing lately. Um, I told you in the last video about me starting the carnivore slash keto diet. But honestly, I think I'm going to stick with just the carnivore part because um, I haven't been doing very much keto. Um, I'm finding that doing just the carn carnivore um, diet is kind of helping my blood sugars go even lower. Um, right now, I'm not able to track them because I messed up uh, with my, um, my not the transmitter, but the little the little thing, the part that sticks on you. <laughs> I messed that up. Anyway, um, I have to wait until later in the week, and then I can renew my prescription and get some more in, and that way I can kind of keep better track of my my blood sugar levels. But while I was while I had one on, I was able to keep track pretty good. After meals, my blood sugar wasn't going up very far at all. Usually it was like around 20s, you know, 120 or something. And then uh, the highest I've seen it get was 164, I believe it was, one time. And it didn't stay up there very long. So um, I think I'm doing really well. Um, I'd like to get them lower. I'm sure that it'll happen. I have managed to lower my insulin um, I'm not taking, I was taking, started out taking 30 units like three years, two years ago, two or three years ago. Anyway, um, I stayed at that 30 throughout all this time, but my blood sugar got out of control. And so I had to up it to 50 units. And so I've managed to back it back down to 40 which is okay, because I mean, I'm not, my blood sugar is not spiking very high at all on this diet. Anyway, so point is, is that I'm going to show a few pictures up above my head there of some of the foods that I've been eating. Um, it's all meat, eggs, cheese, uh, bacon, um, anything that comes from animals, pork rinds. I've been able to snack on those. I like those. I've always liked those. Um, <clears throat> But I've been researching a lot on recipes that I can do uh, to kind of, I guess, mix it up a little bit, you know, make it more interesting. Um, so uh, I haven't really had a whole lot of cravings. That's probably the best part. And I've noticed a difference in my energy level. I'm not getting so tired through the day, even though I'm getting up early in the mornings. I, you know, usually by like... Uh, 11, 30, 12 o'clock, man, I'm just dragging. I'm so tired. Um, but I have noticed here recently that, um, my, my energy level is a lot better. Like I feel better. I don't feel tired by 12 o'clock. It's usually later in the day that I start getting a little bit tired. So I think it's making a huge difference. Um, and I'm going to stick with it. I did order some things because um, some of the recipes that I've been watching on YouTube for carnivores has different ingredients. So I so far I ordered some some uh, egg white powder, some beef gelatin. Um, I ordered this. It's a uh, I made, by the way, I made some uh, salmon patties today. It's one of my family's favorites. And I made it for everybody, not just for me. Um, and instead of using, which I used all, all the ingredients that I normally would use in them, like the salmon and then the eggs, which I had to put extra eggs and some salt and pepper and onions. And I added this. It's uh, King's Pork pork rind or pork king. Uh, it's pork rind crumbs is what it is. And I didn't even know you could buy it like this, but you can buy it in a jar. And I put like a cup of this in my, um, uh, in my mixture, you know, mixed it all up, fried them up in bacon grease and everybody loved them. So I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> and then I just had a few eggs on the side, on the side um, a couple of eggs fried up and I was stuffed. I mean, that was plenty for me. 
Um, anyway, normally I eat like a steak or I'll eat some hamburger patties with some cheese on them. Even did cheese and bacon on them one time. So, um, I was just doing one meal a day and I was fasting for the whole rest of the time. Um, drinking nothing but water and tea and coffee. Um, and so I managed to lose another four pounds this past week. So now I'm down to 185. So I was really happy about that. Um, anyway, uh, can I say some of the things I've noticed already, and I've only been on this, the carnivore diet for like three weeks now, I think, uh, cause I started about a week before I did the first video on here. And that was two weeks ago. So I think it was about three weeks ago. Anyway, I've noticed difference in my skin of all things. Um, my skin is getting smoother. You know, I'm not noticing so many blemishes. My arms, it always felt like my arms, especially the top of my arm right here would be kind of rough, but it's been staying nice and soft. Um, I have some scars on my legs that are getting lighter, like you can barely see them. Um, uh, my appetite is not huge. You know, I, don't, I, I eat when I'm hungry, which is about noontime is when I start getting hungry now. So I do eat now two meals a day, uh, a small lunch, if, if you want to call it that, and then I'll eat what I, my big meal is at dinner. So I eat a little bit more at dinner time. And then I don't eat again until the next day at noon. So I'm doing intermittent fasting. Um, and like I said, trying to stay hydrated. Uh, I ordered some supplements. The reason I did this is because I've been listening to uh, Dr. Ken D. Berry um, talking about things like iodine. Um, I ordered a bottle of iodine. And this brand is um, Mary Ruth's Iodine Organic Liquid Drops is what it's called. And that's what it looks like. I'll kind of hold it up there closer. But anyway, um, if you live in the Midwest like I do, because I live in Indiana, of course, as you can tell from my shirt, um, you don't get the iodine in, the, in anything you eat around here because... It, it's usually, usually people get more iodine if they live closer to the shores, you know, like, like the East Coast or the West Coast or down in the Gulf, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so I got me some iodine drops. I put one drop in a bottle of water and then I also use this. It's called Light Show. And what it is, is electrolytes that you put in your, in your drink, your water, your drinks, whatever you want to put it in. Um... Oh, if I can hold it up there. Anyway, it's called Light Show. Um, this bottle, I got it in a bigger bottle, but it came with this little flask bo bottle. Excuse me. <laughs> I got the, I'm hiccuping. Um, anyway, uh, this little lid that's on here, I put like a half of a lid full in a, in a glass of water. So I, so in the morning when I get up, I always, the first thing I drink is a bottle of water. So I put a drop of my iodine in and then I put some electrolyte in it and I drink that and take my other vitamins, which I take vitamin C, I take D3, I take, um, uh, what is it? K2, vitamin K2, um, Yeah, vitamin K2, it's supposed to help um, help the vitamin D. Anyway, that's for your immune system, D3 rather. And I think that's it. Yeah. So that's what I'm taking as far as vitamins. The rest of my vitamins and stuff, and really the, the vitamin C and stuff, you get out of meat. So if you're eating good meat. Um, I've been buying the fattiest ground beef I can find, which is the, what is it, 2773, you know, with 27% 20, fat in it, because <laughs> you want more fat. Um, I do buy ribeyes. I, I eat ribeye at least probably twice a week now. 
because I can't afford to eat it any more often than that. Um, I've been doing a little bit of seafood. I tried sardines for the very first time because I've never had sardines before. I always thought, eh, sardines. Um, but they were actually good. I actually, I bought the kind in, in, um, in spring water uh, with the skin on and the bones in it. Um, so I had those at lunchtime. I want to say it was Tuesday. Anyway, um, so I, I had those. That was, those were pretty good. And I learned some recipes. So I'm going to try and share some of these recipes on here too for anybody that's interested. Um, one of them is uh, actually a, a breading you know, like if you want to make like chicken fingers or whatever, anything you want to bread, um, it's not made out of bread. So no carbs. It's actually made with these uh, pork rind crumbs. And then you put some, uh, I want to say some uh, egg white powder in it and something else, gelatin, I think. I don't know, I have to look at my little, let me look at my rest. I got to cheat here and look. Breading, pork rind crumbs, beef gelatin, that's what it was, and egg white powder. And you mix that all up and you can season it, you know, with salt and pepper. And then um, the egg wash that they recommend is one egg and mix that with one and a half tablespoons of heavy cream. Anyway, um, mix that, you flask, I mean, whisk that together and then you dip your chicken like your chicken strips or whatever in it and then you roll it in the uh in the bread breading mix and kind of press it on real good but it's they said it stays on the chicken or whatever you're making uh it doesn't like fall off as soon as you go to eat it or whatever it stays on there and it's really crispy and it, and it she said it tastes really good so i'm gonna try that also, I got a recipe for carnivore mashed potatoes and one for carnivore gravy. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I need to get some recipes together that I can start trying to trying out so I can try to make a few things for Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner too. Um, the holidays are coming up. If I don't want to cheat on this diet, <laughs> I need to think of some things. Um, that I can enjoy and not feel like I'm cheating on, on carnivore. So anyway, that's kind of how it's been going. Um, feeling good. Like I said, um, hopefully this will help improve my health even more. Um, and I'll see more signs, you know, down the road or whatever. And as I see changes, I'll definitely let you all know. But if you have any questions, you can ask. I, I don't mind answering questions. Um, and I gave some, I think in the last video, I, I gave some information on um, Dr. Barry. And I think maybe another carnivore channel or two. I also found that... Um, a chef that does different recipes, which I'll try to list him on here. And well, there's actually a couple, there's, there's a woman that I follow too now, but anyway, yeah, that's about all I had to say. I just wanted to let everybody know how things was going and that, you know, I'm really, I'm pleased with this because this is something I think I can really stick with and hopefully fix my, um, health issues, or at least to some extent, you know, I mean, everybody's goal is to feel better and live longer, you know, so hopefully that's what'll happen. Anyway, um, yeah, y'all have a great night. I'm going to go ahead and get off here and get ready for bed because I got to work in the morning. Um, and I will see y'all next time. God bless and have a good night.